Detroit police announced a major crackdown on gun violence, and it comes in the wake of several shootings that left children dead, including two year old Bryson Christian and his shooting happened on I-75. Local Ford defender Sean Lane is on top of the story for us this afternoon. Sean, this is a, a, a two day plan. What are they hoping to accomplish in two days? Well, the police chief, interim chief White was right here. He huddled with his officers a short time ago, and he says the goal is this, be safe, but he says go out and get known violent offenders off the streets. He says he needs to make these neighborhoods more safe for the people that live here. Let's take you to this scene moments ago on Detroit's east side at Connor and Warren. Detroit police officers, tactical units, undercover officers getting their marching orders today from interim police chief James White. This is what he is calling Operation Restore Order. Enough is enough after violent crime, homicides and shootings are all trending upward quickly. Today, the east side will be flooded with Detroit police. This is not stop and frisk, OK? This is this is about getting violent felons off the street. This is constitutional policing. I led the consent judgment in this department for 11 years, and I understand the rules regarding stopping police or police officers making stops. This is not a stop and frisk activity. This is actually day two of Operation Restore Order. DPD kept it quiet yesterday, hitting the west side, going after violent offenders who have warrants, probation violators, targeting known drug dealers and known suspects. 19 felony arrests were made, along with 11 guns seized. And that's just the start of this operation. People coming up to us all morning long said, what's going on with all the police? We tell them about the operation and they applaud. They say that's exactly what they want to see on their streets tonight at 5 o'clock. Everall, we're going to take you inside this operation, also show you the impact that it's already having. Back to you. All right, Sean Lay reporting live for us this afternoon. Sean, thank you.